This week on Talkin' Central Arizona Sports, the end of the winter sports regular season draws near and local teams are looking toward the playoffs. Hello everyone, my name is Torrance Dunham and welcome to a weekly podcast catching you up on the latest with Central Arizona sports teams. Part of Talking Glass Media's Cast 11 podcast network, the show features game previews and recaps along with interviews with coaches and players and much more. The show starts this week with the big matchup last week as the Bradshaw Mountain and the Prescott Boys basketball teams clashed. The Badgers got revenge on their rival Bears as Prescott High School got the win on their home court, 68-50. A big second quarter for Prescott High School was the difference as the Badgers outscored the Bears 24-7. The other quarters only had a difference of one point. The sophomores came up huge for the Badgers as Uriah Tanette and Zane Gall each put up 23 points in the win. Mason Hunt led the Bears with 15 points, while Amari Lawrence had 14 and Dante Landis had 10. The win moved the Badgers' record at the time to 12-2 overall and 8-1 in the region, while the Bears fell to 14-1 overall and 8-1 in the region. Despite the win for Prescott, the Bears are still in first place in the region, as Bradshaw is the number three ranked team in the conference, while Prescott isn't far behind at number six. The Badgers last week also edged Coconino 80-78 in overtime and earned a win against Lee Williams. They kept it rolling on Monday dismantling Flagstaff 79 to 34. They now sit at 14 and 2 overall and 10 and 1 in the region as they end the regular season this week with a road game against Mingus on Wednesday and a home game against Coronado on Thursday, both at 7 p.m. Bradshaw meanwhile rebounded from the loss to Prescott with a win over Flagstaff last week and a victory against Coconino on Monday. At 16-1 overall and 10-1 and in the region, the Bears end the regular season at home against Lee Williams on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Be sure to listen next week as we'll have a look at the playoff picture with Prescott and Bradshaw both locked into the party. We'll whip around the rest of Central Arizona sports teams, but first, winter is here. Can your heater handle it? Yavapai Plumbing and Heating will keep your home warm and toasty all winter long. Go to ypeinc.com to schedule your service. That's ypeinc.com. Welcome back to Talking Central Arizona Sports. Thanks for giving this podcast a listen. It's time to whip around Central Arizona sports teams and get you caught up on previous results and what's to come this week. Staying on the basketball court, the Bears girls basketball team last week beat Lee Williams 50-48 and rival Prescott 56-45, but lost to Flagstaff 61-23. However, they got back in the win column on Monday, beating Coconino 40-34. They are 8-9 overall and 7-4 in the region as the team ends the regular season on Wednesday at home against Lee Williams. Tip-off is 5.30 p.m. The Prescott High School girls basketball team struggled last week, losing to Coconino, Bradshaw, and Lee Williams. At 6-10 overall and 2-8 in the region, they played Flagstaff on Monday and end the regular season with Mingus on Wednesday at home. The game begins at 7 p.m. Meanwhile, for Chino Valley, each team continues to have a rough season as the boys and girls teams each dropped their games last week against Foot Fountain Hills, Borgade Catholic, and Wickenburg. They each have an overall record of 1-14 and will both play Northwest Christian at home on Friday. The girls play at 5.30 p.m. while the boys play at 7 p.m. Keeping with Chino Valley sports, the Cougars boys wrestling team has a road meet on Wednesday against Antelope Union, Baghdad, and Mayer, before ending the regular season Friday at Prescott High School with a meet against the Badgers, Bradshaw Mountain, and Mayer at 4 p.m. Back over to Prescott Sports now as the girls' soccer team beat rival Bradshaw Mountain 3-0, but lost to Lee Williams 2-1. At 7-1 overall and 2-1 in the region, the number 6-ranked team in the conference plays Flagstaff on the road Tuesday 
and then hosts Mingus on Thursday at 5 p.m. and Estrella Foothills on Saturday at 2 p.m. The boys soccer team lost to rival Bradshaw last week 5-0, but rebounded with a 2-1 win against Lee Williams. At 3-6 overall and 1-2 and in the region, the Badgers host Flagstaff on a Wednesday at 5 p.m., followed by a road game against Mingus on Friday at 6 p.m. before ending the regular season at home against Coconino on Saturday at 2 p.m. The Badgers wrestling team is also hosting that meet I just mentioned a few moments ago. Over to Bradshaw now as the Bears boys soccer team is still unbeaten, beating rival Prescott 5-0 and tying Flagstaff 0-0 last week. The number three ranked team in the conference is 9-0-1 and 3-0-1-1 in the region as they end the regular season this week with a home game against Coconino on Wednesday at 6 p.m. and a road game against Lee Williams on Friday at 6 p.m. The girls' soccer team last week lost to rival Prescott 3-0 and Flagstaff 9-0 to fall to 2-8 overall and 0-3 in the region. The team hosts Coconino on Tuesday and Lee Williams on Thursday, each start at 5 p.m. The Bears boys wrestling team is also competing in that meet at Prescott High School this week. On to Collegiate Sports now as the Embry-Riddle Eagles men's basketball team last week beat Simpson 676-62, but lost to UC Merced 70-55. Dennis Panamazanov led the team in the loss with 16 points. At 7-14 overall and 5-9 in the conference, they play road games against Cal Maritime on Thursday and Pacific Union College on Sunday. The women's basketball team also went 1-1 last week with a 65-59 win against Simpson and a 64-57 loss to UC Merced. In the loss, Susie Reynoso and Zachariah King each had 12 points. At 13-9 overall and 9-5 in the conference, the team plays Cal Maritime on the road Thursday in Pacific Union College on Sunday. The men's wrestling team last week lost to Eastern Oregon 21-16 but beat Corbin 21-17. They play Montana State Northern and the University of Providence Montana on the road over the weekend. The baseball team opened the season with wins over Oklahoma Panhandle State, Mid-America Nazarene, and Taylor but lost to College of Idaho. In the win over Taylor, right fielder Luke Jepson went 3-4 for four with a walk. They play four games against Westmont over the weekend. The softball team, meanwhile, opened the season being swept in two games by the College of Idaho, 2-1 and 10-0. Next up are road games against OUAZ and Oregon Tech over the weekend. Ending the whip around with Yavapai College as the Rough Riders women's basketball team lost both their games last week, 89-59 to number 9 ranked Eastern Arizona and 82-69 to number 12 ranked Pima. At 7-12 overall and 4-9 in the conference, they host Central Arizona at 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday and Chandler Gilbert at 4 p.m. on Saturday. The men's basketball team also lost both their games last week, 85-59 to Eastern Arizona and 91-69 to number 16 ranked Pima. At 6-15 overall and 3-10 in the conference, next up are home games against Central Arizona on Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. and Chandler Gilbert on Saturday at 2 p.m. The baseball team faces number one Central Arizona on Friday at 10 a.m. and New Mexico Junior College at 2 p.m. and then El Paso Community College on Saturday at 2 p.m. All on the road. As I do every week, I'll end the show by giving my thoughts on some state sports. Don't look now, but the Phoenix Suns are creeping up in the standings. After the win on Monday over the Raptors, they are 27-25 and and in 7th place. With a new team owner set to take over next week, there's more than a usual amount of buzz surrounding the team. Now is the time to strike with a big trade. A trade that shows the fans they are not only willing to keep this window open, but maybe extend it and become a perennial threat in the Western Conference. With the D-backs having three of the top 15 prospects in the rankings, it would be nice if both teams on Jefferson and downtown Phoenix turn into championship favorites for years to come. But it's up to ownership to support these teams. I'm Torn Stunham, and this has been Talking Central Arizona Sports, part of Talking Glass Media's Cast 11 Podcast Network. Have a great week, and we'll see you back here next Tuesday.